Hello dancers, welcome back to our channel here at Image Ballroom Dance Academy in Dallas, Texas. My name is Rangel and today I'm going to be helping you with international style walls. We're doing the natural spin turn. Let's get going. And we continue with the leader's footwork for the natural spin turn in walls. Leaders, please position yourself on your left leg. You're going to take the right foot is going to go forward, left foot is going to go to the side, you're going to bring the right towards the left and you're going to sit on your right leg. You're going to reach backwards with your left leg, you're going to go left, you're going to do a small pivot, then you're going to rock your weight towards the right foot and you're going to rock your weight back towards the left and you're going to finish with back with your right, side with your left and finish by bringing the right foot towards your left. Let's take a look from another angle. So we're going to start on our left leg. We're going to go forward with the right, left, right. We go back, left, right, left, back with the right, left to the side and right foot finishes by bringing it towards the left. And now we continue with the followers footwork. Followers, please start standing on your right leg. You're going to go backwards with your left side to the right with your right foot, bring the left towards the right and lower on the left leg. You're going to go forward with your right, left foot is going to continue forward, you're going to pivot and you're going to rock back your weight on the right leg and you're going to finish forward with the left, side with the right and bring the feet together, sit on your left leg. Let's take a look also from another angle. So we're going to start backwards with your left leg and Back with the left, side with the right, bring the left towards the right, forward with the right, forward with the left with the pivot, and rock your weight to the right leg, and finish with forward with the left, right to the side, and left foot comes together. And that is your footwork. And next we continue with the timing. Let's take a look at the leader's timing First, we're going to be taking three steps and each step is going to take a full beat. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Note that this is three bars of a waltz music. Here we go. We start with our litters. Litters, position yourself on the left leg. You're going to go forward with the right. One, two, three. You're going to continue backwards with your left. Second bar, two, two, three. Third bar backwards with the right, three, two, three. One more time from a different angle. Start standing on your left leg. We're gonna go right foot. One, two, three. Back with the left. Two, two, three. Back with the right. Three, two, three. And now let's take a look at the followers perspective. Followers, position yourself on the right leg. We're gonna go backwards with the left. We count. One, two, three, right foot forward. Two, two, three, left foot forward. Three, two, three, finish on your left leg. And let's take a look from a different perspective. Here we go. We're gonna go backwards with your left. One, two, three, forward with the right. Two, two, three, and left foot finish. Three, two, Three. Finish on the left leg. And this is your timing. Well done learning the footwork and the timing. Now let me give you some basic technique and mechanics on how to make your natural spin turn more comfortable and also more attractive. So we're going to be talking about upper body, we're going to be talking about CBM, country body movement, and also we're going to be talking a little bit about Sway. Why is this important? For two reasons. One is going to be easier to rotate around each other with your partner and two also is going to give you a natural shape of the body to redirect you into the new direction. So let's start first with the leader's perspective. Leaders, on the first step during your natural turn, I would like you when you take a step forward with the right foot, twist your upper body, your torso to the right. That's how you're going to move the partner out of the way. The next step, when you go to the side, Create a sway to your right. When you go down on the right, neutralize your body. From here, you're going to go backwards with your left foot. 
make sure that you curve your back foot. You're gonna go like in a rainbow, like a half moon going backwards with your left, turning your body to the right. And you're gonna lower it down and as you lower your heel, you're gonna do a small pivot. From, from here, you're gonna rock your weight forward. Make sure that you control and you don't go too far forward into that right foot. You're gonna start raising and at the same time, you're gonna be doing a contrary body movement reaching with the left side of the body forward and in the end once that rotation is done you're going to place the left foot backwards and make sure that you control how you're sitting into that left leg you don't want the momentum to take over you and make you fall backwards with your upper body so from here control sitting on that left leg and from here we're going to have a small cbm going to the left go a small sway of the body slightly to the left and from here you're going to lower down and you're going to neutralize your body finishing on the right leg. Followers, let's continue now with giving you some tips in a very similar way how you're going to be executing this step. You're going to start with your right leg standing on the right so the left foot is going to go backwards first. Here is that first step when you have to like slightly curve backwards with your pinky toes going out of the way to make room for your partner. At the same time, start doing the country body movement going to the right, but still keeping your head looking to the left. The moment your left heel touches the floor, reach with your right foot. Your body naturally is gonna have a sway going to the right. Keep stretching your head away to counterbalance that and complement that strong shape. When you bring the feet together, neutralize and come back to normal. You're gonna go forward, this is where we just differ from our partner. So as the leader curves his step backwards, followers, you're gonna go straight through the body of the partner, you're gonna go straight forward with your right foot. So go forward, country body movement to the right, keep reaching forward with your left foot, keep rotating the body to the right, and from here you're gonna be partial weight. You can pull that right foot for a moment in, or just leave it there, and just slide it to the side to receive your weight. Ball flap, here is where you want to control how you're landing. You don't want to drop the weight, but make sure that as you go smoothly ball flap, you keep stretching your head to the left. You're going to finish. Left foot is going to go forward, the country body movement is to the left this time, and you're going to stretch the right side to produce a sway to your left, and you're going to finish sitting on the left leg. I hope these tips were helpful. Thank you so much for joining us today. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we have more videos coming up your way. Have a great practice.